Hi everyone, welcome back to the shop. Today's a rainy day, but that doesn't mean our spirits are down because today we're joined by Maggie the Maltese. Now Maggie doesn't have much pre-work to do. She's pretty clean already, except for that little pooper. So we're gonna start there. And then we're just gonna dance our way over to the tub and get her started. It's a chilly one out there, so let's make sure this water is nice and warm for Mrs. Maggie. Of course, we always wash the face with the hypoallergenic tearless shampoo. That's because it's diluted and it's really easy on the, on the eyes. Now Maggie gets a little bit nervous about visiting the groomers, so we're gonna try and calm her down with this Hemp for Paws Calming Lavender Shampoo. Already it seems to have worked wonders because she is relaxed to the max, baby. Now little Maggie, just like every other Mal Maltese, has very fine hair. If we do a really good job shampooing here, that means it's nice and clean. When we go to cut it, it'll cut smoothly. If we don't do a good job washing, it'll be all choppy and gross looking. And good shake and a little rinse off. We like to towel dry just a little bit before we get the high velocity dryer on them so we're not spraying water all over the shop. Pat the baby. Here, Norma's laying down a dry towel. That's not just so Maggie has a soft landing. It's so that we can collect some of the water dripping off her uh, and not be, again, spraying that all over the shop. And you never want to forget the happy hoodie. This just muffles the sound of the blow dryer and it keeps them nice and relaxed. We like to brush as we dry. That keeps our hair straight and free of knots and tangles. Bam, just like that, she's done, she's dry, she's ready for a haircut. We're gonna start by doing her sanitaries. Giving them a shorter shave in the armpits means less matting down there. And the under pad scoop, this helps to prevent again matting, but also getting yucky, sticky, sappy things in between their toes. And then we're gonna clean out her face so she can actually see. We're gonna pull out that slicker once again, brush out those little leggies. She's a no fuss kind of girl. Okay, this is called a clipper comb. It goes right over your blade and it acts as a guard so that you maintain the length that you want when you're clipping. We use the dark orange on her face and then we use the blue for the rest of her body. A longer length on the face means they're sort of left with a little bit more character. They look pretty cute. Okay. And a shorter clip on the body means less work brushing for owners between grooms. Today, Maggie's parents want to keep a little bit more length on her legs than the rest of her body, so we're going to stop short. When it comes to the tail, we just scissor. I always like this. I'm just going to watch it one more time because it's satisfying. Now we're going to pull out those scissors and use them on her legs and her feet. That way we can maintain the length we want and we have a lot of control over those fine details. Maggie seems pretty relaxed at this point. Nice and tolerant. She's not moving at all. Pretty easy. When dogs shake their head, that means they're actually releasing stress, which is a good sign. Now 
I think she's done. That was a quick one today. Thanks to good behavior, Maggie's pretty much done and on her way. We don't want to forget that cologne. Today we're using South Park's blueberry clove scent. It smells like uh, Welch's grape juice, actually. You're in your little happy dance, waiting for dad to pick her up. That's a wrap. Thanks for joining us, Maggie. And the rest of you, let us know what breed we should groom next. You can leave a comment below and let us know. You can also subscribe, click notifications, leave any comment you want to. Have a good one.